Howdy, this is Terry, and I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Don't forget to click that like button and look at the description of this video. I have all kinds of links, and on my homepage, you'll see a bunch of playlists for how I lost my weight. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Howdy. I don't, can't guarantee you're not going to hear some hacking in the background. Well, I think some water went down Lou's throat the wrong way. So we got two eggs. I'm going to put in my cheesy here. This is a, uh, this is just the original or light uh, Lassie Cow cheese wedge. It's not um, any flavor. It's just the plain. And we're going to also add in some onion and mushroom sauteed that I made up this weekend. Let's just put a little of that in there. So I was watching a video and um, I will, I think it's called Cooking at Pam's House is the channel it, it was on. Don't quote me on that. I'll find it. But anyway, um, she made, so wait, 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 let me think. Eggs, mushroom, and cheese. Let's put a little salt. And let's put in some, uh, what you call it here, Creole seasoning. Anyway, and um, I was on YouTube. I was just peeking today at something. And uh, her video comes up. And such a cute little friendly looking lady. And uh, <clears throat> But she made gravy. The only thing she used was onions, broth, uh, she says you could use um, amino acids, liquid amino, something, whatever. And then, uh, what the heck else did she use? That bra oh, 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 a uh, baking soda. That's it. I'm like, man, that sounded good. So I'm going to try that this weekend if I can remember. <laughs> I mean, editing Terry, put that on your to do list for Saturday. Um, so anyway, um, so I want to try that because I'm like, man. So she, but she used the amino acids, but, or she also used, there were other things that she could, that you can use, but that was just to turn it brown. If you don't want it brown, you didn't have to add that. But anyway, so, okay, wait. So pork and gravy. I'm not tired of that stuff, but, and some of you have asked me, what do I do when I don't like it? Well, I just keep eating it. But, and then I complain about it. Oh, yes, yeah, so we'll have the pork and gravy and then this um, Vegas salad, some of that. Okay, so that's tomorrow night. So tomorrow, oh, I forgot my pickled veggies. I thought I had everything. I thought I did really good. I was all excited. I had everything over there, but nope. No, you didn't, Terry Terry. No, you didn't. So we got our salad that we made up this weekend. And now I'm just going to add some of my bread and butter veggies. You can find this recipe on my channel. Just do a search for Terry Least Bread and Butter. There's some yum, yum, like, they're like slap your mama good. Like, you know, like real good slap your mama good. Sorry, Judy. But um, it's just the truth. I can't help it. I can't help it. If something's that good, it's that good. And so we got, oh man, I really slacking. I got my salad dressing, I forgot. And if you watched yesterday's video, you'll see whenever I made up this dressing, I have concerns because the G. Hughes chili, sweet chili sauce, it has chunks in it. So I might have to take the lid off to get it out. But look, oh, it would help if you turn it on, Terry. You know, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Yup, I was right. I'm gonna be having that issue. Gonna have to beat them down. So if you want to see how I made my dressing, go to my Sunday video. Because I made it before I went to bed. So, all right, or in my last video. All right, so there's my salad and my salad dress seasoning. Lord, y'all, I'm trying to hurry because it is later. I had Bible study with my girls. I enjoy Bible study. I learned so much. We have a good time. Get to talk about Jesus and and um, there were questions about how we can put Jesus more, uh, more first in our life. Things we can do to, you know, things we should maybe cut back on to take our time away and attention away from God. I said, 
I said TikTok. Yeah, I said TikTok. That, that'd be my thing. Um, as I said, I go to bed every evening with the intention of listening to my Bible. And because um, I like the Bible that reads to me. So I, I go to bed with the intentions of laying down, stretching out, and listening to my Bible. And then, lo and behold, I get distracted. Because, you see, I'm one of those people that if my phone has a, like a red, red number on it, saying something like, you know, you got four, four alerts or five alerts or whatever. It doesn't matter what the app is. I just, I'm the type that's like, oh, I've got three alerts. I better take care of this. I, be, I better look at this. And we're going to do a burger, a burger in a bowl. So we're going to put on some adobo. Going to put in some paprika. Um, let's put in this total seasoning. Ooh, I'm going to get some of my smoked salt. Hold up. Hold her, Newt. Let's use some of this hickory smoked salt. I gotta hold it up because I can't hardly see it come out. I'm sure that's plenty. And let's put in some of our boom all day. This is a uh, umami, a savory flavor. So let's put just a little bit of that in there. Come on. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then like I said, we're gonna do a burger situation, burger in a bowl. So, I am going to do a cheeseburger in a bowl. So, I have some of my fat-free, I, I thought, I, I, you know, I always do, do the wedges. I'm going to do this kind. I keep this in my freezer, and then when I pull it out, I kind of have to beat it up a little bit, so that way it gets, uh, so that way it breaks apart. All right, so serving is 28 grams, so I want 14 grams, although it's only 45 calories. We'll see. So anywhere between 28 and 14. We'll see how many we get. If it comes out as a big old chunk, I won't be able to stop it. Oh, just like that. That's a big chunk. I'm putting that one back. Okay, so 18 grams. There we go. So that, we're going to have... Oh, my scars almost knocked it off. So we're going to have that. And then I don't want to microwave the burger sauces. Um, I want those to stay cool. So I'm going to put those in a little container. Sometimes I make I microwave them and sometimes I don't. And tomorrow I want to don't. So I'm going to put in my apple. I got me an apple. Oh my lord. I forgot. I wanted some of my red onions on there. Oh, heavenly days. Terry Terry. Terry Toodle. I'm going to add a whole bunch of red onions. We're getting on the I made these two weeks ago. So, uh, gotta get to using them boogers up. Tip toodle. All right, now, put my apple in here. And now we need one of these little jobbers here. I'm gonna zero it out. Oh, no we're not. We're gonna, we're gonna turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna think about this. I want one serving of my ketchup, which is 16 grams. Well, as close as I can get it. Okay, so 25 grams of ketchup. And we're gonna zero it out. Then I want half of a serving, if possible, of the G. Hughes honey mustard. So it's gonna be 15 grams, maybe. Oh, look at there, 14, but you know I gotta go back in and try to get that extra one. We're just gonna crank it up to 16. Cause that's just how I am but that's all right it's who I am it's who I am um, and then we're gonna add some of this is the G Hughes hang on I'll show you I put my faith in Jesus he never lets me down okay it's this one the G Hughes burger saw so what I did I did this like the salad dressing I did half of his stuff and half water so this is the diluted version. Because his by itself was 80 calories, and that's more than what I prefer. So this way I could do 30 grams and get 40 calories. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I get in here. Wait a sec. I could do so I could do 30 cal 30 grams, and it would be half of a serving. Come on. Alright, there we go. So now 
Now, now, now we're talking. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to get a up here. Let's go on and do this. Let's put our, put our coffee up here and zero it out. Let's work our way down to the fluid ounces. That's really neat. My other one didn't have anything like fluid ounces. I want to, one of these, one of these was almost going. This is something I sometimes do. This is French vanilla and classic caramel. They all taste kind of the same. Well, these two do anyway. So I just sometimes mix them. It's going to be good regardless, man. Ooh, and I bet that caramel would taste good with the s'mores. Holy macaroni. All right, so we zero this out. And, and well, I'm at 28. No, 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 that was 20. One fluid ounce. So now we just add till it says one fluid ounce. All right. One fluid ounce. Oh, and I'm going to add a little bit of water to fill it, top it up. I put my faith in Jesus. He never lets me down. All right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here now. Here now. Settle it down, sis. Settle it down. I'm getting a little bit wild. All right. Now I need my spoon. I think I'm going to take a fork, too. Just to, sometimes I do want to fill up. Sometimes my, uh, my cabbage isn't quite soggy enough, so I need a fork. So, all right, so we're going to take that. And that is my breakfast and lunch tomorrow. And I'm going to get all my mess cleaned up. And I'll see you in the morning for breakfast. Bye. Oh, there's Tuesday. So, just remember, sometimes your weight may be up, but maybe it's because you're swollen. So don't freak out when you go up a pound or two or five. Just breathe and keep doing what you're supposed to do. Keep eating how you're supposed to eat. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? It's awfully little come for what you're seeing. Here. Look at that. Oh, we get it got to the top of the hill, so now it's getting little. Or going down beneath the tree. But ain't that so I brought another piece of bacon and this one I didn't break apart. I thought I'll just eat the whole the whole thing this way. Um, well, some of it was broken, so I did put a couple pieces in there, but okay. We have our avocado. They only had one of these weird wide spoon. And it's funny because they're weird. You know, I like a big spoon. Y'all know I have my big spoon, but it seems like sometimes that whenever you get a wide plastic spoon, they're really kind of, they're deeper. I can't explain it, but they're deeper. And so your lips kind of, you know, to get down into there to get all the stuff off the spoon. My eggs are so dadgum hot. This little plastic spoon's about to melt. <laughs> but that's all right now. I'm, I think Terry last night seasoned them. I'm pretty sure I seasoned them, but... Uh, this is going to be hot. Let me just, just hold on. Okay, let's try it. Dumb decision. Very tasty, but very hot. So I'm going to let this sit and cool for a little while. But that's what I got. My avocado and my eggs. And my piece of bacon. Okay. See you later. Okay, it's lunchtime. I've got my ground beef with cheese and onions. And I'm going to add the sauce that I put in here. So I'm just going to dump it on here. And uh, just a second, I need to scoop a little bit of it out. So, supper, lunch. Yep. It's an onion. Mm. Onion cheeseburger in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And our salad today. Let's have us a good bite of it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My apple. Mmm. I bought this today. 
I have two of them. I had two of them in my refrigerator. I'm like, you know, they've been in there for a couple months. I probably should drink on them before they go bad. So this is the cherry limeade. So I'm going to drink it around on that today. So, okay. Have a great day. See you at supper. So supper tonight. We've got some pork and gravy. Got some rutabaga. My bega salad. And uh, we have some fruit. So... I can't even wait for y'all. Um, that seasoning mom got me, Old Basin seasoning. It said, I think it said potato salad. Potato salad, yep. Let's put just a little bit in here. Okay. Let's see what we think of that. I got a song stuck in my head. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. I am free. Hell lost another one. I am free. I thank the Savior. I thank God. Cause he pissed up my heart. Turn me around. Pick me up on solid gal. No. Put my feet on solid ground. I thank the master, I thank the savior, I thank God. That's it. Hell lost another one, I am free. I am free. I am free. Hell lost another one, I am free. I am free. I am free. I thank the savior. What's that? I don't remember the words. Anyway, that's a good song. Y'all need to go YouTube it and listen to it. All right. You can play that song at church. Well, I sing that song at our church and during baptism, which I think is so awesome because it's like, boom. They are baptized. Hell lost another person. They're free and going to heaven. I just love when they, they don't think they do it every time, but they do a lot of times. And when they do, I just sing it. And I'm like, eee, that's another person. We're going to see each other in heaven. So yeah, pork and gravy, bacon salad, and fruit. So there we go. All right. So hey, if any of you all reach out to me by email, which I love, or by, you know, messenger, if you friend me on Facebook, I just need you to know my world is kind of hectic. I mean, we have this time together, of course, but I work, <clears throat> I work about nine to 10 hours a day I work full time. And then I come home. I feed the dogs and I feed me and then I edit my videos and I take about an hour or two and watch some television sometimes too usually about an hour or so I watch some television and answer some comments and then I make up my food for the next day and then um, you know and then go stretch out in bed so <clears throat> I'm saying all that to let you know that if if you email me or message me, please, please, please don't don't be offended. If it takes three to five days for me to get back to you, it's not because I'm trying to be mean or be, sorry. I got a nose. My nose is itching. Who's got a hole in their britches? If somebody's nose is itching, somebody's got come with the hole in their britches. I wonder maybe it's me. Anyway, uh, so yeah, just just know it may take three to five days for me to get back to you. Um, I know my world seems doesn't seem like it's wild, but. Yeah, it is. In my in in my own way, it's wild and busy. So I just want to give you a heads up. So if y'all do message me, it takes me a while to get back with you. Don't get mad. I I, I I can't help it. I'm doing the best I can. I'm just a one girl show who has a big full time job and a whole lot of dogs. So I'll see you tomorrow.